30 images that reveal the devastation of the U.S. Civil War. On June 18, 1864, a cannon shot took both arms of Alfred Stratton. He was just 19 years old at the time. Overall, one in 13 Civil War soldiers would become amputees. Union soldiers from Company D, U.S. Engineer Battalion, posed during the siege in August 1864 in Petersburg, Virginia. Union General Ulysses S. Grant in City Point, Virginia. August 1864. Union soldier Francis E. Brownell, wearing a Zoe uniform, with a bayonet musket. In this image, the Medal of Honor recipient has a black crepe tied to his left arm in mourning for Colonel E. E. Ellsworth. Union General Ulysses S. Grant, Center, and his staff pose in the summer of 1864 in City Point, Virginia. Union officers and enlisted men stand around a 13-inch mortar, the Dictator, on the platform of a flatbed railroad car in October 1864 near Petersburg, Virginia. A young soldier lies dead in a trench in Petersburg, Virginia. Union General William T. Sherman sits on a horse at Federal Fort No. 7. September-November 1864. Atlanta, Georgia. The Ponder House stands shell-damaged in Atlanta, Georgia. September-November 1864. African-American Union troops at Dutch Gap, Virginia in November 1864. Union soldiers sit by the guns of a captured fort in 1864 in Atlanta, Georgia. Union Colonel E. Alcott Soldiers sit in trenches near Petersburg, Virginia. Circa 1864. A Union wagon train enters Petersburg, Virginia in April 1865. The ruins of the Confederate capital of Richmond, Virginia in April 1865. The ruins of Haxels, or Gallego, Mills in Richmond, Virginia. April 1865. Ruins stand in front of the Confederate Capitol building. Circa 1865, Richmond, Virginia. Confederate Major Gill. The body of a dead Confederate soldier lies in a trench at Fort Mahone on April 3, 1865 in Petersburg, Virginia. The Anaconda Plan, proposed at the beginning of the Civil War, consisted of two main objectives, set up a naval blockade of the Atlantic and Gulf of Mexico ports that were controlled by the Confederacy, and transport roughly 60,000 Union troops in 40 steam transports down the Mississippi River. Meanwhile, the soldiers would capture and hold forts and towns along the way. The ruins of the State Arsenal and Richmond-Petersburg Railroad Bridge are seen here in 1865 in Richmond, Virginia. Soldiers wait outside Appomattox Courthouse, Virginia as the higher-ups work out the official terms of surrender at the end of the Civil War in April 1865. Two unidentified soldiers in a Union captain's uniform and a Union lieutenant's uniform, holding foot officers' swords and wearing frock coats, an over-the-shoulder belt for sword attachment, and red sashes. In this photo, taken sometime in 1884 or 1885, 
former Confederate President Jefferson Davis, his family, and his servant pose for a portrait in Beauvoir, Mississippi. Soldiers at a field hospital following the Battle of Savages Station. June 1862. Confederate soldiers who were killed during the Second Battle of Fredericksburg, May 1863. U.S. First Lady Mary Todd Lincoln. Circa 1860-1865. Wilmer McLean and his family sit on the porch of his house, where Confederate General Robert E. Lee signed the terms of surrender to Union General Ulysses S. Grant on April 9, 1865 in Appomattox Courthouse, Virginia. The funeral procession for U.S. President Abraham Lincoln slowly moves down Pennsylvania Avenue in Washington, D.C. on April 19, 1865, five days after he was shot by Confederate sympathizer John Wilkes Booth and ten days after the Confederate surrender at Appomattox Courthouse, Virginia.